Hi everyone, good evening and namaste to everyone who is present here. I hope all of you are doing well. Uh, yeah, this is Setaluri Padmavati from Hyderabad, India. First of all, I would like to thank Mr. Prasanna and the team members of Fertile Brains for giving me this great opportunity to recite my poems today. This is my privilege and honor to be a part of Fertile Brains, which is really a wonderful platform, which gives many opportunities for many writers and poets. It organizes various events like the administrator or the organizer gives opportunities to poets to take part in uh, writing based on prompts or book releases and even poets can talk about different poets. So such programs are really enriching to any poets. Yeah, when I talk about poetry, you know, let me just briefly define poetry in my own words. Yeah, before that, uh, Robert Frost said, Poetry is when an emotion has found its thought and a thought has found its words. That is what poetry. So poetry is writing the feelings, ideas and dreams in an imaginative language which contains different verses, rhyme, sound, rhythm and various concepts. It depends on the person on what topics he or she wants to pen down thoughts. Actually, poetry has no particular definition because it can mean various things to various people. I mean, it, it, uh, it means different things to various people. So we cannot correctly define what really poetry is. When, when I talk about the poets, what I noticed when I heard poetry from uh, prolific writers and poets, I found they follow their own uh, techniques, their own uh, you know, writing styles. Some may go for narrative writing, some may go for dialogues in the poetry, some may uh, ask questions and some if, uh, you know, they follow rhyme scheme and they show rhythm and verses, free verses, uh, you know, it has become common nowadays. That is what I noticed. Yeah, that is what it is. And um, about writing poetry, I write poetry to express my feelings or vent out my emotions sometimes, uh, especially to encourage or inspire readers and give a valuable message through my words. That is what I do whenever I write poetry. Uh, and I would be so happy if my poems uh, reach the readers and if they touch the hearts of the readers. That is what I really want. Yeah. Uh, when I talk about the concepts, the subjects, you know, I write poetry um, on various topics uh, like love, life, uh, maybe romance, beauty, fashion, culture, traditions, maybe the lifestyles, maybe comparing situations like, you know, so on. So this is what, you know, I wrote, I write on various topics. Whenever I write poetry, I try to connect my themes uh, with the beauty of nature because we cannot live without you know, the nature, we, uh, as a poet, I love to write, you know, poetry uh, on the beauty of nature. And whenever I write poetry, I love to connect the themes, uh, you know, with the places and people. I try to, uh, you know, make them as characters, like people and all. Uh, sometimes, um, whenever I experience something, it can be a sad moment or maybe a happy moment or some thrilling, uh, you know, incidents, anything, you know, uh, take, for example, 
when I travel to various places, all these experiences can be, you know, written in poetry. That is what I do. And frankly speaking to you, uh, without any source, I won't be able to write poetry. I need something. Either I have to listen to people or uh, I have to experience something. Okay, maybe sometimes I write poetry when I uh, listen to some discussion on TV or maybe when I watch a movie, beautiful movie, or when I listen to some stories, uh, you know, like talks, like tech talks, something like that. So without those, I won't be able to, sometimes uh, I won't be able to write without this, uh, you know, some kind of uh, uh, resources. And one more thing I want to tell you all that, sometimes I won't be able to write poems. Recently, I had a discussion with some great poets. Uh, yeah, I told them I won't be able to write sometimes. Uh, suddenly, you know, my mind goes, you know, like a blank. Nothing will be there. Thoughts will be there. But, you know, uh, I also seek advice from other people. Yeah, still I'm a learner. I'm still learning, uh, you know, the styles of uh, poetry and all. Yeah, by the way, I'm a bilingual poet. Uh, I write in Telugu and English. Yeah, that is what it is. And uh, my poems were published in many anthologies, in Telugu anthologies and English anthologies. Uh, like sometimes I uh, send my poems to different, uh, you know, organizers who uh, get the poems uh, published in the anthologies. Yeah, if, when I get time, if I get an opportunity, I will be attending some. Sometimes, you know, I go to these gatherings, like uh, I love to attend some poetic um, meetings, whatever you call it, you know, poet, uh, these poetry fests. Yeah, I attended so many conferences earlier also because they gave me uh, better chances to meet people and discuss a lot of things with people, listen to you know, the speakers, uh, I would love to, you know, uh, visit such places. Yeah, that is what about it. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's all. Okay, let me uh, recite a few poems for you. Hope you may like them. Yeah. Firstly, as we are going to step into winter, I would like to recite my poem. The title of the poem is Winter is Here. When the cool breeze kisses my face, I step out quickly for a long running race. It's not a regular exercise as a routine. I wander around the fresh world green. Those dewdrops filled the grass on the footpath, firmly rooted strong huge trees in the park. Smooth-skinned, innocent kids all around spread the fragrance of jasmines abound. The chain of Appalachian wore a gown painted with colorful leaves in the town. Yellow, red, pink, and white in huge trees create a harmonious atmosphere and glee. The muddy roads filled with abundant eyes, the numerous lakes turned into path twice. Wheelers skate, walkers fear, and birds shiver. Pedestrians, drivers, and animals do quiver. Snow-caped mountains mesmerize me ever. I rejoice in falling droplets like pearls whenever. Cozy room, soft blanket, and comfortable bed. Hug me with warmth on chilly nights ahead. Energizing and refreshing winter is here. Wayfarders do not move with pets, dear. Bicycle riders sadly stare at the walkway. Notorious kids keep outdoor activities away. Oh, this winter is harsh sometimes. Mm, yeah, I just imagine uh, the life of people mm -hmm. and the places. It's a lovely season. I hope you really enjoy winter, which uh, really makes us energetic. We won't get tired, right, during winter. Yeah. The next poem, the title is Youth. 
Today's youth enjoyably earn while they have several things to learn. Knowledge gives them great power, valuable exposures certainly empower. Inner abilities encourage and impel various jobs energize them so well. Opportunities seldom knock on their door. They luckily grab and utilize them more. Organizations provide a good room. Possible chances make them bloom. Luck and life ever go hand in hand. Thus, youth find a correct way to stand. Yeah, youth. All of us really depend on the youth because they are energetic and according to the time and generation, they show us changes in the lifestyle and everything. Yeah. The next poem is You Are Immortal. Wars destroy beautiful places. Storms destroy human races. Age and time alter our faces. You're famous in all faces. Climatic change disrupts nature. Watery bodies wipe out creatures. Fire accidents burn many humans. But you are immortal in my words. Blooming beautiful flowers die. Books of many concepts perish. The newer generations surely grow. In my poetic words, you flourish. Beauty and riches in the world lose their value slowly in a world. Words of praise become persistent whenever I pen down your name. Yeah, maybe I remember someone, you know, whenever I write, I write poetry, that person will be, you know, always alive through my words. That's what. A limerick. Limerick is a poem which has five lines. Normally, uh, the first two lines and the last line will have the rhyming words. And in the in between, there are two lines and th those both will have Again, rhyming words differently. That is called limerick. Sometimes it uh, is funny. Sometimes it will have some kind of meaning or value, uh, sorry, valuable message. A dignified teacher came to cash. On a treasured island, he got struck. He was my good company who used to accompany. He assured me he had a look but not luck. Another limerick is here, a short poem it is, Friends Party. There is a schoolboy named Grubby who appears naughtier than Tubby. They have a friend who is smarty. All of them wish to have a party, but the bill was paid by Chubby Grubby. Yeah, limericks are easily written just to make people have you know a little fun and just enjoy maybe the rhyming words will give um, a nice sound yeah that's what it is yeah based on the nature i wrote a poem on lake the topic is lake the title of my this you know poem is lake the freshwater lake shelters a duck. The four-legged duck feels it's her luck. She daily wakes up too early to quack. The tiny birds stare at it with a smack. The crows do enjoy the sight of the lake. On the electric string, they love to shake. Coils ever wait for an opportunity to sing. The palm tree breaks silence as they swing. The focused drivers drive ahead on the road. The dump truck moves heavily with a load. Jingling machines turn on to run around fast. Their service to mankind will never last. 
this is when I, uh, you know, when I was abroad, I saw a lake with beautiful ducks, you know, swimming in the lake. Uh, the, you know, location was so beautiful all around, you know, there was greenery. Yeah, the moment I saw it, I felt like writing this poem, actually. Yeah, here is another poem, Silent Street. I hear the sound of cool breeze one side. The bulky barking dogs can never hide. I could sense the swaying branches too. Flying birds flop their wings loudly true. Bluish fish swiftly swim in a pond small. Yellowish petals from plants gently fall. The setting sun spreads rays in the sky. Every sound appears soothing to me. Why? Neatly constructed villas look beautiful. Residents are loving, amicable and dutiful. They love to be inside the doors always. For their punctuality and decency, I praise. Folks say hello to you with a sweet smile. Folks say hello to you with a sweet smile. If you could wish them and talk for a while. Bushy trees, hills and sky sing a silent song. Silent roads help me keep my brain strong. These roads teach me about worldly peace. My curiosity about all dwellers never ceases. Never ceases. I could listen to my footsteps in pin drop silence. Every silent street gives me a good guidance. What a language it is. The language of silence. The silent roads, the silent beaches, maybe the silent parks, the silent footpath, especially when I walk in, uh, you know, these silent areas, the quiet places, I really feel this language of silence is really powerful and peaceful too. Who doesn't love silence? Especially when we are in violent world, when our brains are, you know, very tired, when we want a little peace, yeah, we have to have silence. Yeah, when I, you know, when I was uh, walking on a silent road, I wrote this poem. Hope you loved it. Yeah, when I talk about uh, poetry, uh, as I told you earlier, I also write in Telugu. Um, there are some uh, online platforms. Uh, I send my poems to them. And even uh, when I talk about my English uh, poetry, uh, I also um, send this poetry to uh, different e-journals. Uh, I submit online, you know, uh, e-journals. And once upon a time, I was the editor of um, Your Space News India. Actually, that platform gave me, uh, you know, gave me many opportunities to meet prolific, prolific writers and poets. I had a chance to interact with many poets uh, who were really, you know, I can say they were really eminent poets. Yeah, I always look for these chances to meet them and interact with them. Yeah. Anyway, and now I would love to recite uh, two poems, two Telugu poems. Uh, maybe some of you may follow me. Yeah. The... First poem in Telugu language is Sneha Bandham. This is friendship, about friendship. Prati Varshaku Bottu Eruni, A Eruloni Niru Nadini, Nadi Jalalani Samudrani Kalsinatu, Manushila Manasulani Madini, Madiloni Bhavalu Parisaralan Kalisi, Sneha Karachalanam Chestai. Samskruti Sampradaya Lumarina, Ahara Vivahara Lalu Vityasa Luna, Bhasha Prantiya Vipeda Luna Antarangala Vinialu Tiyani Ragalu Alapinchi Akuna Chechi this Nehabandam Mata Samarasyaniki Sangha Samskaranala Stapanaki Bujam Bujam Kalipinadapadam 
సారీ భుజం భుజం కలిపి నడవడం చేతిలో చెయ్యి వేసి బాస చెయ్యడం అంతర్రాష్ట్రీయ స్నేహానికి మూలం మాటల ధోరణితో మన్ననా మర్యాదలతో తీయని స్నేహం ఎల్లప్పుడూ దిన దినాభివృద్ధి చెందును కదా అభివృద్ధియే నీ పథం మేబీ ఐ గివ్ యునో జిస్ట్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ తెలుగు పోయం యునో దోస్ హూ కెనాట్ ఫాలో దిస్ తెలుగు పోయం మే యునో ఫాలో దిస్ వర్డ్స్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఐ రోట్ అబౌట్ ఫ్రెండ్షిప్ దిస్ ఈస్ when we talk about watery bodies watery bodies you know even the rain drops uh, they go and meet the pond and all the ponds meet rivers and the rivers meet um, you know the seas uh, and oceans uh, in the same way you know our thoughts and you know our ideas uh, they you know make us have some good friends in different places that is how we try to shake hands of others and you know uh, develop our friendship and when we talk about uh, culture and traditions there are many changes in traditions and culture when i talk about uh, uh, different uh, states in india or different countries every country has its own culture and traditions there are so many differences in culture and languages even when we talk about religions okay and whatever differences we have when we talk about friends we don't uh, care about all those you know differences that is what it is yeah we love to uh, move with friends get along with friends and share our feelings that is what it is not only um, friendship in you know in our own country we also have some friends internationally yeah it is you know all thanks goes to our internet because of this we you know develop friendship even the countries have uh, amicable uh, you know atmosphere because of this international gatherings and meetings or friendship whatever it is yeah the next poem in telugu is prema prema is love prema pavitramainadi viluvainadi enta panchina taraganidi mano prashantata nichedi మనసులను కలిపేది అదే అరుదైన ప్రేమ ప్రతిబంధంలో నీడల అనుబంధంలో కనిపించని నిజంల అపురూపమైన ఆర్తిల తనువులోని తాపత్రయంలా అగుపించేదే ప్రేమ అదే అరుదైన ప్రేమ జీవితంలో ఓ భాగస్వామిలా కళ్ళలో మెరిసే ఓ మెరుపులా నేనున్నాననే ఓ భావనల గాఢ నిద్రలో ఓ బంగరు కలల తలపించేదే ప్రేమ అదే అరుదైన ప్రేమ పేదవాడి హృదయంలోని దీపంలా ధనికుడి కాసులలోని అభీష్టంలా కష్టాల కడలిని దాటే నావల కన్నీళ్లను తుడిచే కరంలా భుజం తట్టేదే ప్రేమ అదే అరుదైన ప్రేమ బద్ధ శత్రువులని కలపాలన్నా ప్రియమైన స్నేహితులని కలవాలన్నా బంధువర్గాన్ని పొందాలన్నా డబ్బుతో కొనలేనిదే ప్రేమ అదే అరుదైన ప్రేమ లవ్ లవ్ ఈస్ నాట్ ఈజిలీ యునో గెయిన్డ్ ఐ థింక్ వీ కె నాట్ గెట్ లవ్ ఆఫ్ ఎ పర్సన్ సో ఈజిలీ దట్స్ వాట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఐ థింక్ యూ ఆల్ నో వాట్ ఈస్ లవ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ దాట్ యునో ఇట్స్ లైక్ ఎ షాడో విచ్ ఫాలోస్ యూ in a relationship and uh, it is very you know uh, it gives a satisfaction and it, it gives us immense happiness peace yeah everything requires love if you want to develop your friendship you need love if you want to develop a relationship among relatives yes the other person should love us and we should be able to love love is mutual that is what it is love gives us peace happiness and uh, satisfaction whatever you call it yeah i say love is like a partner in your life yeah it is like us you know mm, a spark in your eyes maybe it is like a dream in your deep sleep uh it is like a light 
in the heart of a poor fellow and uh, it is also you know a wish of a rich person and when you are sad the love of a person you know wipes your teardrops and they give you solace yeah this love has immense power that is why you know we feel that when we don't get attention from others or when somebody uh, doesn't have concern for us yeah we feel bad i hope you all liked my poems yeah this is what poetry and uh, i want to talk a little bit about you know the theme of fertile brains I attended so many uh, meetings which was organized by uh, Prasanna and the team of Fertile Brains. Especially, I met uh, uh, Rupali ma'am several times online. Yeah, I had a talk with her also. And uh, whenever I attend, you know, on Sundays, this um, poets gathering, it is really, really enjoyable. I get a chance to learn a lot of things from all the poets who ever attend the program. Yeah, I'm really grateful to, you know, the team. Yeah. And sometimes when we don't have time, we feel uh, difficult to attend such programs. But what I suggest to you is that whenever you get time, whenever you get an opportunity, please try to attend these online events either fertile brains or whatever it is. Yeah, they are enjoyable and uh, like a pastime. We get to, you know, we get to see each other face to face. I think this lockdown became a blessing for all of us. Uh, from that time onwards, we started writing poetry. And uh, I feel the number of poets you know, has been increasing everywhere, you know, all over the world. Yeah, whenever uh, I listen to poetry on different topics, uh, I learn, you know, I learn a lot of things. And I also learn how the poets pen down their thoughts and what is the difference between a verse and the poem which, uh, you know, has meter, like Shakespeare and um, Wordsworth, you know, like uh, John Keats poetry. Whenever we read, we try to understand the language, you know, in a different way. That language is different. Yeah, that is part. Poetry is, uh, you know, something that, you know, really makes us happy, contented. Yeah, I think that has uh, that is why it has become my passion. And one more thing, even my teaching profession also has helped me to write uh, poetry. A lot of things like, uh, uh, you know, my experience with my different schools, students and people helped me, you know, write poetry. Yeah, that's all. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for patiently listening to me.